The drums of war sound again, and the newest experience being added to Classic WoW is the Season of Discovery. A familiar, yet different classic experience which focuses on exploration, open world activities, and wild, never before seen player progression with unique gameplay. I'm Platinum WoW, and let's uncover all of the cool new features in this unique classic experience. First, let's start with the discovery aspect of the season. All around Azeroth, we see our favorite locations, monsters, quests, loot, and experiences, but with some unique twists, like hidden areas, never before seen quests, and new monsters. Hidden amongst these little discoveries, you might find the Season of Discovery's most exciting feature, runes. Runes are items that you can engrave on your armor, which kind of work like a secondary enchantment. These runes can provide active or passive abilities from future expansions or entirely new ones that can change the playstyle of your class. Some examples include paladins with Avenger shield, priests summoning an army of void minions, or totally role-defining runes like warlocks, shamans, and rogues now being able to tank, or mages being able to heal with time magic. Another core feature of the Season of Discovery is level banded content. When the servers are first released, all players will have a max level of 25, and then over time, it will be raised to 40, then 50, and finally 60. Strength and honor! The unique thing about this is that for each level bracket, there will be new, never before seen end game content that players can participate in. For level 25, the Black Fathom Deep's dungeon will be transformed into a 10-player raid, with new bosses, mechanics, and loot. Dabu! Each level bracket will have a new raid and are aimed to be approachable to most players, but interesting enough to provide a challenge with a difficulty akin to the original raids of Classic WoW. But when you're traveling to the new Black Fathom Deep's raid, be careful, as the contested zone of Ashenvale is now rife with conflict. Another new feature is Battle for Ashenvale. This new feature transforms the zone into a world PvP hotspot, where Horde and Alliance players will battle over territory and defeat enemy warmasters and leaders in something similar to Alterac Valley. With this event, you can earn reputation with the Silverwing Sentinels or the Warsong Outriders, and obtain new rewards like mounts that can only be ridden in Ashenvale, new helms, and weapons. This is just a brief summary of the content being introduced in the Season of Discovery, and there will be so much more to explore within the future phases of these seasonal servers. Altogether, this experience is about Azeroth being the main character. It's about exploring undiscovered lands, creating unique builds for your character, battling the enemy faction in world PvP events, and delving into new raids with your guildmates. Now is the perfect time to return to the world of Azeroth and explore the familiar yet different lands in the Season of Discovery.